leading Spurs in second. Liverpool on the attack, though, and Adrian Vallis not getting the best start, but now trying to take second place. He's got it in front of Tottenham. So it's back to where we were with those two front row men, but Liverpool not where he wants it to be. Oh, a big dive down the inside by David Rigon, and it's causing all sorts of mayhem. Oh, la, 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 Porto is out. Porto has a damage rear wheel, and we see he's spinning on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six cars stuck. Rangers, oh, la, 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 what a disaster. Oh, there's Rangers trying to rejoin John Martin, bouncing over the bits of carbon fibre. That's not going to do the tyres or the bodywork at all. Let's have another look at this, Bruce. Let's see what if we can work out what happened. Well, basically, so far it's all okay at the back, at, at the front, sorry, but at the back you can see Olympiakos diving inside, breaking way too late and just pointing out on the, on the Align car and then Porto was there and got stuck into the traffic and then it's just a big mess. A big mess, as you say, and so, the car's all trying to... Let's take a look at it from Ranger's point of view. There was Davide Rigon, he went past the out. Where was he going? I just, the driver of his experience, I'm really surprised. Yes, he. I think he, he didn't brake early enough and on his first lap, you have to be careful, he had carbon fiber brakes. Carbon fiber brakes are cold on the first lap and when they're cold, they're not efficient. The result is you have no strength in the brakes and you're not stopping the car and you end up in another car in front of you. He really looked like, yes, he, he sort of misjudged. He didn't look as though he was necessarily trying to overtake everybody. He's just